The filter media is the biggest part of a filter. But what makes it up? And uh, which role does it play during application? Exactly. The filter media is usually the biggest part of a filter element and is doing the actual filtration work, like separating particles from an airstream. Manentumel has a big variety of different filter media. For example, general non-woven media for coarse particle filtration, or electrolyte media and nanofiber media for good fine particle filtration, but also media equipped with activated carbon to additionally remove harmful gases. So depending on the application and the needs of our customers, we can provide the best fitting one. What is the main challenge today? Besides high filtration efficiencies, it is also mandatory to provide a long filter lifetime. For the filter media, this means high particle resistance while keeping a really low pressure drop. So this means really good depth filtration characteristics. These benefits are also reflected in the energy rating, so our customers get a really good idea about the capability of our products. How does depth loading work? On the microscale level, this means the media allows particles to partly migrate through the media and capture them over the whole media width. So this prevents initial surface loading and yields to a really slow pressure drop buildup while loading. Especially non-woven media gives the opportunity to design progressive media structures and therefore enhance this depth filtration characteristics, whereas, for example, glass fiber media is working as a surface filter. How does filtration work on a microscale level? And how is it related to efficiency and dust capacity? Basically, there are six filtration mechanisms. I'm going to explain four of them on a single fiber model. These four are the most important for HVAC filtration and are happening actually in the media. The first mechanism is inertial impact. It occurs when air streamlines rather sudden change their direction, for example around a fiber, but the particle follows the original path due to its inertia and collides with the fiber of the filter media. This effect is mostly predominant in particles bigger than 0.5 micrometers. The second one is interception. This occurs when particles follow the air streamlines but still hit the fiber because they pass in a distance which is less than the diameter of the particle. This effect is predominant for particles which are bigger than 0.3 micrometer. The third effect is diffusion. Separation by diffusion happens especially with small particle sizes below 0.3 micrometers. They follow a gross airflow, but additionally they have an irregular motion pattern around their pathways which is called Brownian motion. This increases the chance that the particle hits the fiber. If we sum up all these curves, we can get the whole separation curve of a filter media. As you can see, there is a depression at the particle range of 0.3 micrometer. This is usually called the most penetrating particle point. This leads us to the last filtration mechanism, the electrostatic effect. For example, non-woven media can be charged and these charged fibers can attract charged particles and therefore enhance the particle filtration in the range of 0.3 micrometers and therefore elevate the point of most particle penetration. The share of each filtration mechanism is depending on different factors. For example, the fiber diameter, the surface weight of the media, filtration velocity, but also the particle size distribution and concentration and also the nature of the particles and the ambient climate. But knowing all this enables us to design the perfect media for its final application. So this shows us that the media is far more than just a sieving mesh.